I like taking risks. I love, what can I say? I am a thrill seeker. Can you imagine a party that lasts for two weeks straight? And did you know that Margot Robbie actually improvised her kiss with Brad Pitt? The filming of Babylon certainly was wild. So without further ado, let's party. Just like keeping up, <laughs> really. Number one, she saw a chance and she took it. Although Margot Robbie would admit that her movie Kiss with Brad wasn't in the script, she apparently thought, When else am I going to get the chance to kiss Brad Pitt? I'm just going to go for it. That wasn't the only perk Robbie took advantage of, but more on that soon. When she approached Damien Chazelle with the idea, he agreed that it was something her character would do. In fact, he thought the scene worked so well that he'd asked them to do the take again. And what did Brad think about the improvised kiss? You know what you're after and then you just let the... The spirits take over. Number two, does Margot Robbie ever get tired? According to her, it was important to have the party atmosphere throughout the whole film. Even when Margot wasn't on set, she was still partying. But even on the weekends, I was like in Nelly mode. I was like, right, we're going out, we're partying. And why was she doing this? Well, the way that she explained it. Yeah. I was like, I kind of need it for Nelly. Like, I, I need her to never have a minute of quiet, never... Yeah compose herself, just always be like da da da. Number three, what's the longest you've ever partied? Although the party scene only lasts about 15 minutes in the movie, it apparently took the crew two weeks to film it. The first day was, was a bit shocking, <laughs> like even for me. Writer-director Damien Chazelle explained that he wanted it to be the party scene and all party scenes, but admitted that the filming of it got pretty wild, stating, It did feel like we were in our own little bubble. It's like the outside world was going by normally, but inside it was 1920s debauchery of the highest level. Number four. Think you know what Tobey Maguire's toughest scene was? According to him, he had so many nerves on the first day of filming that he sort of just exploded in the take. He went on to explain how a producer had told him that he can bring an energy level of 16 out of 10, resulting in a performance where he just exploded in a ball of nerves and crazy, weird expressions that was not coherent or consistent. Immediately after his take, everyone headed to lunch, which Toby described as a really good, interesting, and weird lunch. Number five, can you cry on command? Margot Robbie's character Nellie Leroy is an aspiring actress who's surprisingly skilled in crying on command, which is something Margot Robbie can actually do in real life. I had a fair share of practice <laughs> crying on cue. She's apparently gotten so good at it that she's even able to ask the director, Do you want it on my left eye or right eye? When asked if she thinks about anything in particular when she does it, Margot said, Honestly, it sounds so stupid and, and derivative, but I just think of something sad. Number six, you are hardly going to believe the amount of costumes made by production. Babylon has by far the largest number of actors that I've ever dressed on a film. According to the costume designer Mary Zofries, there are 7,000 costumes in this movie between background and 150 speaking parts. Principal cast members had about 15 changes. Mary revealed that she had to do a lot of research because the challenge was always find some inspiration that's from the 20s that doesn't look like your typical 20s. That's to me is my most the most important part of my job is how do the costumes serve the story number seven your clothes can say a lot about you Damien Chazelle has spoken on how the characters largely define themselves through what they're wearing, especially people like Nellie Leroy. Nellie's all-red outfit is meant to reflect her free spirit and ambition, with the costume designer describing it as something she's cobbled together herself, like tap pants and a scarf wrapped around the waist. Nellie comes from nothing, and if we could see that in a costume, and great. Number eight, to go formal or not to go formal? That was the question facing Mary when it came to designing the wardrobe for Brad Pitt's character. According to her, my pitch for Jack was that he's such a big movie star that he's just not formal. He wears a tuxedo to the parties, but other than that, we don't see him in a suit. Instead, we see him wearing a lot of cardigans throughout the movie, as well as sweaters that were all knit by hand. I'm a stickler for details like that. Number nine, a lot of attention went into recreating Los Angeles of the 1920s. I just wanted to jump into those visuals. Production designer Florencia Martin chose an isolated location in Peru, explaining that it was what Hollywood and studios looked like in the silent film era. Here, an outdoor silent movie studio was built, with six or seven sets running at all times. You're talking about sets within sets within sets. Some filming was also done out of Santa Clarita Valley in Los Angeles. We really tried to build the world and show those contrasts throughout. 
Number 10. It takes a lot of big sounds to recreate the drama of the silent film era. Damien Chazelle insisted that Babylon be filled with sounds that feel almost larger than life. And so, every actor was given a personal mic, so that several scenes could feature multiple conversations going on at once. It's almost like controlled chaos of sound. Not only that, but music would often be played silently through earpieces, allowing the team to set up a bunch of mics around the set to record record a wider perspective of different sounds. We try to recreate it with some natural sounds from the scene, but building up a rhythm. Number 11. The music of Babylon plays an important role in setting the tone. The film features over two hours of original music, and according to the composer, a huge part of my process in creating the music for Babylon was finding unique musicians to bring it to life. It was a lot more muscular because it was built on that really like heavy riff-based uh, style of writing. This isn't the first time that Justin will be working with Damien Chazelle either, as the two have previously collaborated on the music for La La Land. Number 12. These hairstyles may not be what you think of. As hairstylist Jamie Lee McIntosh told Allure, when you think of the 20s, it's the bob and finger waves, but Chazelle wanted to stay away from the cliches. Margot Robbie is actually wearing a wig to make her hair longer and fuller, although the hairstylist added that it was very important that the wig fit her well. Considering a lot of references, she was giving rough Janis Joplin shaking her head. I'm on the run. I've got lots going on. Number 13. The makeup of Babylon came from an unexpected source. One of the MUAs revealed that she didn't want characters who looked like typical Hollywood stars, and so she drew a lot of inspiration from mugshots of the time. This helped her find references of real people. She described Nellie's party makeup by saying, yeah, I borrowed lipstick from my neighbor because I needed to get into this party. Number 14. The right cast is important for any movie. Damien Chazelle wanted the experiences of his characters to be reflected in his cast, which was why he lucked out finding movie star Brad Pitt to play the movie star Jack Conrad. There's always something new I'm finding with, with, with new directors, and everyone has their own language and style. For Nelly Leroy, Damien said he wanted someone who was a movie star, but also who has arrived on the scene recently, as well as being someone who's utterly fearless. He found his perfect Nelly in Margot Robbie. I kind of love that, and um, I, I get, I don't know, I get a real kick out of that. It's an adrenaline rush. Number 15. Babylon is inspired by entirely real stories. According to Damien Chazelle, he was inspired to write the script by reading about the golden age of Hollywood. I would just find my jaw on the floor, all, you know, all the time. He said his goal was not to sanitize anything, revealing that Jack Conrad is inspired by John Gilbert, Clark Gable, and Douglas Fairbanks, while Nellie Leroy is a mix between personalities like Clara Bow and Joan Crawford. Whether we're talking about parties on set or the endless hours of dedication, there was never a dull moment filming Babylon. What do you consider to be the most shocking behind-the-scenes detail on this movie? Make sure to let us know down in the comments.